Why? Because humans and all mammals are creatures alike. That's why we have this gene in us called POMC. POMC only gets translated from UV light. Well, how are you going to translate POMC when you got no UV light in your environment and you got a, 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 an abundance of blue? Actually, blue light turns off the POMC gene. So what effectively do you become in a blue light world? You become more like a previous evolutionary form. You become a moron. You become a, a monkey that doesn't talk. You become a, a monkey that gets a disease like autism. That's what autism is, severe autism. You don't talk. It's called regressive evolution. It's an atavistic effect. You know, when I have this discussion with mothers and parents of autistic kids, this really offends them. I'm like, I don't care if you're offended. My mouth's not a bakery. I'm telling you the truth. There's a reason that autism showed up uh, in, since 1940. And it's not magically some reason tied to neo-Darwinism or, or Darwin. It's actually the effect of light on our biology. And until people wake up and understand why there's pockets in the United States of where autism is really bad, you're going to find out that it's always linked to a, a massive amount of artificial light during the night and the day to people that affects their germ cells. And then their kids are born and they have these, you know, problems related to neural migration, you know, in the five senses and that hooks up to the thalamus. And when you realize that the main pathway that connects all this in the brain is the retinal hypothalamic pathway, you start to go, shit, I never actually put this all together. And that's what autism effectively is. It's actually a disconnection of the five senses to the thalamus. Why? Because neural migration doesn't happen. What controls neural migration in humans? Pretty simple, vitamin A and melanin. Oh, we're back to that story again.